So a couple of months ago, one of the members of my Discord server, Bright, was basically quitting Skyblock and they decided to give all of his items to me. Now one of the items that I did receive from him was a very ordinary weapon with some very interesting enchantments on. So I think it's time to take a look at it and see what it can do. Before we do get into the video, if you do watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We're trying to get 10k subscribers over here so every little helps. Also, if you've already joined the Discord server, consider doing so, it's linked in the description, what can you lose? Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video, I hope you all do enjoy. So, when he was quitting Skyblock, the item that he chose to spend all of his money on was... A Zombie Night Sword. Now, as you can see, this is this is not what you expect of a Zombie Night Sword, I mean, just look at the state of it. 5 star recombobulated, fuming potatoed, withered, soul eater 5, sharpness 7, like, what are you doing? Regardless of the weapon being so ordinary, you would think that, you know, given all the enchantments and all the upgrades that are on this weapon, it's got to be somewhat decent and comparable to maybe a different decent weapon. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to find out today. Is it usable? And should you do this? I mean, obviously, no, but we'll pose the question. Now, before we do look at the damage that this could potentially deal, um, I think it's would maybe be a good idea to figure out how much this actually costs to craft and put everything on. So first of all the sword itself which is 335k and then the withered, so the withered blood which is 2.6 mil and then 10 hot potato books which we'll call 385k 5 fuming potato books which we'll call 5.5 mil a recombobulator which will be 6.5 mil I mean the sword is 5 starred but at the same time it is undead essence so there's not really much of a cost there so we're just not going to include it Soul Eater 5, which is 26.7 mil. For some reason, there's Dragon Hunter 5 on it as well, which is, um, well, it's 1 mil a piece, so we'll call it 16 mil. I mean, it's got Luck 7, but I don't feel like this is an accurate price considering the uh, Luck 6 is 90k. We'll not include that. We've got Sharpness 7, which is 24.9 mil. And I'd probably say that's about it, um, considering what's of value. So the total of this sword. How much it would have cost to craft it is 82.9 mil. What a way to spend money. Now we're going to see how much damage this can really do. It doesn't have one for all, it does have soul eater, so it'll be a little bit more inconsistent and obviously will be dependent on what is hit last. But to give it the best chance, we're going to put our Necron armor on. We're going to equip a Tiger Pet. We're going to get a weapon out that we can test it against, which can be basically the control, which is just basically a one for all living dagger. And we're going to see what sort of damage this sword can actually do. Now is the control, the one for all living dagger is going to do about 125k per hit, obviously this will differ depending on what armor you've got, what stats you've got and so on. And if we use our zombie knight sword we're going to be doing about 57k per hit which is obviously on one of the lowest lowest tier of mobs you could possibly get. So 57k, that's, a, that's about right. If we now go down to the crypt ghouls, obviously that hit's going to be 57k but we can do 87k, which is obviously much better. Not quite what the Livid Dagger would be doing, but, you know, it's, it's a start. 87k is not too bad. Okay, so we just killed one of the golden zombies. I mean, they were trying to steal it off me. Let's see what damage we can do now. 90k, so that's, I guess that's you know, slightly better. We've killed another zo golden zombie. Let's see what we can do now. 133k. Maybe I didn't kill the golden zombie last time. But that actually did more damage than the, uh, the Livid Dagger. Obviously... With one for all, it's going to be way more consistent. Now, the next logical step for progression would be to go to the end. So, we're going to kill an Enderman. 76k. But now, let's see what damage we can deal after we've done that. 186k. So, if you're in the end, you want to be using this sword rather than the one for all Livid Dagger. It's way better. Obviously, unless you get a backstab. Let's let's not talk about that. But, you can actually do some decent damage. I mean, for 82 mil, considering that Livid Dagger that I've got is worth about 30 to 35 mil. This should be doing damage, to be fair. So, all in all, if you have about 82 million coins, then just buy three one for all Livid Daggers. It's worth it. Way more. Way more consistent. It'll be better in dungeons. Jobs are good. Un. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.